We're getting close. Isn't it 21 DD? There it is. DD for Dr. D? He has his own boat dock? Over here, welcome to the Maury, Tidewater Community College's research vessel. Dr. D, we learned about waves and tides, but we need to know more about oceans. Let's start at the very beginning. You know how oceans formed? You mean they weren't always here? No, not always. When the Earth began about 4.6 billion years ago, volcanic eruptions helped to form an atmosphere. That included water vapor. So were the oceans created when it rained? That's right. About 3.8 billion years ago, the lower areas of the Earth's crust, called basins, filled with rainwater. If the ocean is made from rainwater, why is it salty? Well, in the beginning, it wasn't very salty. So how did it get that way? One way is from freshwater rivers. As they float towards the ocean, the rivers dissolve minerals, such as salt, from the land, adding salt to the ocean. But how can the ocean be more salty than the rivers? When water evaporates from the oceans, it takes almost pure water away, leaving the salt behind. Then for millions of years, the rivers carried salt into the oceans, and evaporation leaves it there. Do the oceans continue to get saltier? No, and they're not getting any less salty either. We say saltiness or salinity has reached equilibrium. Why is the salinity of seawater so important? One reason is that it's a major factor in creating ocean currents. Let's do an experiment. We're going to pour salty water into fresh water. Let's see what happens. The salty water went to the bottom. Why is that? Salty water sinks to the bottom because it's denser than fresh water. A gallon of salt water weighs more than a gallon of fresh water. Take it, test it out. They both feel the same. Salt water from the ocean is only about 3% heavier than fresh water. But even a small difference in density makes a real difference in currents. Is there anything other than salinity that determines the density of water? Yes, the temperature does. I think we're going to have to learn more about how density makes currents. I have a friend named Dr. Martin who can help you. He's doing research in an underwater laboratory called Aquarius. I'll give you his contact information. Thanks, Dr. D. Whoa! 